Hey everybody, Mike McCandless here from the McCandless Collection. Today I'm here to talk to you about this big guy up here. The big billboard that we have from 1958. This is the only one that I've ever seen uh, from the late 50s with Dodge. Typically most of the billboards you see are early 50s and even late 40s, but pretty rare to find them in the late 50s. Uh, as far as these paper billboards. This is 12 individual pieces of paper uh, that I had a professional up in New York uh, put together and essentially glue together on some sort of special paper that they have so that it looks as it would back in 1958. We then had a custom wood border built around it to frame it out so that uh, it looks like a huge frame piece. Uh, absolutely one of my favorite pieces here. We have a spotlight that we put on it at different times that I'm having in the shop right now to get repaired that gives it a three-dimensional effect uh, when we have it shined on there. And what's really cool about this, a lot of times when people come in here, they'll go, man, have you heard of the, have you heard of the American Pickers? You should talk to those guys. This piece actually came uh, from Robert and Mike from American Pickers. They knew uh, that I was looking for Mopar stuff. They came across this piece and they were willing to work with me on uh, getting it here, which I was super thankful for. And I've actually worked with those guys a lot on other pieces. And that's what makes this hobby so cool. There's people all over the country picking pieces, everything from signs to billboards. And when they find Mopar stuff that's of my era, I'm always so thankful that people will reach out. And if it's something that I can find a place for, I'm gonna put it up. But to me, this is one of the headlining pieces in the museum. As soon as you walk in, it's directly above your head. So a lot of times people won't see it until they turn around. And if you actually look at 1958 advertising, you'll see this yellow uh, 58 Dodge and the red Dodge uh, commonly used with the male and female talking in this dating type of look. So it's really cool to find dated advertising of the time showing the exact same thing. So that's just a little bit of background on one of the many pieces you'll find here at the McAllen's collection.